My name is Rodrigo Nogueira. In the talk that I'll present at the Transformers at Work, I will talk about how these large language models trained with a large number of uh, texts and sufficient number of parameters, they show this amazing property of uh, in-context learning. That is, if you give only as input to the model some instructions and some examples written in natural language, the model can then learn to perform tasks never seen before. With this remarkable property, we are now able to solve tasks at an increasing pace, and I'll cover some examples of what kind of tasks we can solve, these types of prompt engineering. And more interestingly, I will show how these reasoning and mathematical tasks they we finally can now solve them and these have been for a long time problem they, they're exposing problems that, that we know from the neural networks so a key insight from these prompt engineering tasks is that we can now use step-by-step -step instructions with those symbolic grounding i will argue that we can now finally bridge the gap between this neural and symbolic world I will also show how these using the symbolic grounding leads us to better out of domain performance in particular information retrieval tasks Finally, I'll also discuss the limitations when using this external knowledge from, from the web. For example, there's a trend now that we use uh, retrieval augmented lang large language models, namely that uh, we retrieve some texts from the internet and use those texts to help us predicting what will be the continuation of some texts. And I would argue that, that is, although it does improve performances in a ton of tests, that might not be a good idea if you are trying to handle fake news, because there is a ton of information in, on the web saying that uh, the Earth is flat, for example, and not so many texts talking that uh, the Earth is round. So that therefore the model learns some of these bad behaviors. And I would argue that uh, to counteract these bad behaviors, we need some specialized models that uh, have the time uh, to do pre-trained on some domain-specific corpus and then become experts before trying to answer hard questions. Mm -hmm. In context learning, we now don't need that many more training examples to solve a task and that allows us to quickly engineering solutions to, to, to new tasks that come and also if you have a very complex task, we can now divide these tasks in subtasks, each one of them only creating uh, a few prompts uh, to solve it. And then we can finally put it together, everything in a single pipeline that allows us to solve this more complex task. So this is exciting. In the past, we couldn't do this unless you have a ton of uh, annotation effort. And now I, I guess anyone can just go to these, uh, download these open source large language model, try with a few prompts. One thing that I find intriguing about using explanation to solve problems is that uh, we are inducing the model to use its own output as some kind of a scratch pad so it can reason better and have more confidence in its final answer. If we remove this explanation step and ask the model to directly output the answer, it, it, there is a drop in performance. So I, I think by using explanations, is, is like I mentioned earlier, it's a nice bridge between the symbolic and neural world. Like we don't rely solely on these neural activations inter internally in the model. We also rely on some grounding symbolic outputs. And um, this, this I would argue that it makes them more, more robust to out of domain tasks, the one that I, we're not sure that the model saw during pre-training. And uh, yeah, I think that this research idea is exciting. Yeah.